super spectacular Bible stories with Mr. Blake and Nettie. Hey, Mr. Blake. <laughs> How's the animal sound listening going? Great! Well, I've counted 14 so far. Well, that's pretty amazing. I actually set up all the markers along the path. And I gotta admit, Nettie, it was pretty lonely out there. Well, Mr. B, when I feel alone, God is with me. I was A-OK -okay the whole time. Really? So when I heard you screaming earlier, that was just for fun? OK, OK. Well, I was scared, but Miss HB called me, and she reminded me of Joshua 1-9. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That's really good. You see, when I feel alone, I just worship God, or pray, or read the Bible, which is God's word, because it says in the Bible in James that when we draw near to God, he draws near to us. Wow, that's, that's amazing. And it actually reminds me of an awesome Bible story. A super spectacular Bible story? You know it. Nettie, whenever we feel alone, we just need to remember to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. He is with us. It's time for the super spectacular Bible story. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> our story begins with God's son, Jesus. One day, Jesus went to the top of a hill to pray by himself without his 12 friends, the disciples. Oh well, yeah, I knew Jesus did miracles and healed the sick, but I had no idea he was a mountain climber too. That's so awesome. <laughs> Not a mountain, Nettie, a hill. No. Oh. Uh, he still climbed it, though. <laughs> Meanwhile, across the way, the disciples were in big trouble. What kind of trouble? Did they rob a bank or did they not wash their hands after eating dinner? Hey, you! Gross! <laughs> Actually, they had gone off on a boat and gotten trapped in the middle of a huge storm. The huge waves crashed against their boats, thrashing the men from side to side, and the wind howled all around them. Oh, man! That must have been a scary storm for the wind to be literally howling! Kind of like the winds were made out of wolves. Ow! Exactly. The disciples were terrified. They feared for their safety and cried out for help as they held onto the side of the boat. Suddenly, as they looked out on the water, they noticed that a man that looked like Jesus was standing on top of the waves. What? what? Standing on top of the water? Did he have some sort of rubber ducky float shoes or something? Oh, I gotta give me some of those. Nope, no rubber ducky shoes. The disciples were scared, but Jesus declared that they should not be afraid. Yet, Jesus' best friend Peter was still unsure. And so he called out to Jesus saying, Lord, if it really is you, call me out into the water to you. Are you serious? Oh, I bet Peter didn't even have his rubber ducky floaty shoes. Well, maybe Peter was a really good swimmer. Well, Jesus answered back with a smile on his face and told Peter to come to him. Peter stepped out of the boat and onto the shaking sea, and miraculously, he began to walk. Wow, that's amazing, Saku. So cool. Right, step by step, he headed towards Jesus while keeping his eyes fixed on him each step of the way. Yet, Peter began to look away. He started looking at the waves around him. He started to feel all alone. The more he looked around, the more alone he felt, and the more fearful he became. He took his eyes off of Jesus, and eventually, he started to sink. Oh no! Jesus acted quickly. Before the water could completely consume Peter, Jesus reached his hand out to him and pulled him up. Wow! Jesus is a real life superhero! Exactly. Even though Peter was focused on the storm around him and felt alone, Jesus was always with him. It wasn't until Peter took his eyes off of Jesus that he began to sink. But even then, Jesus was still there to pull him up. You got that right. Because when we feel alone, Jesus is with us. When we start to feel alone, we need to put our eyes back on Jesus. And remember that he will never leave us or forsake us. Exactly. Jesus is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. When I feel alone, God is with me. I just need to keep my eyes on Jesus. You know, I think that's really going to help us out while we're out here on the Emmanuel Ridge. Oh, I agree. And that was a super spectacular Bible story. 